Plenty of precious stuff in here. You aren't looking for treasure in the museum while pretending to volunteer, right? No, I'm not. Oh, what's this gadget? This monitor and this keyboard. Is it an automaton remote control terminal? See, there's this piece of paper here. It says, Peña Sergeyevna. Is that the owner's name? Sounds a bit familiar. These are all relics, sis. Please don't touch them. What if you break something? Oh, we were just waiting for you. Long time no see. I wanted to talk about this in our chat group, but sis won't have it. I'm sorry you had to run all the way out here. Actually, I want to talk to you about our little Lynx. She's our little sister, the youngest child of the Landau family. She just came back from a scientific exploration on the Snow Plains, but she seems really out of it. Almost like she's worried about something. And she won't tell us what happened. We're really worried and want to help, but we don't know where to start. The last time I saw her, she was preparing to meet someone on the Snow Plains. She even asked for a stove set from me. But no matter how Japard and I asked and probed, Link simply refused to tell us who she was going to meet. <sighs> Such a failure of a sister. So that's why Japard and I came up with this idea. We'd like you to help us find out what's going on. One more thing. Don't let her discover you. Otherwise, she'll probably get upset with us. Thank you. We're worried about her meeting strangers. She's used to doing research alone in the Snow Plains. And we've always believed she can protect herself. But this is different. I'm worried she could run into bad people. Oh, right. If you're gonna go find Lynxie, you gotta know what she looks like. Don't worry, she stands out. She's blonde like us and, um, quite short. She's always wearing a white fur hat. If I'm right, she should be waiting for someone at the city exit, closest to the snow plains. We're putting our dearest baby sister in your hands this time. Let us know immediately if anything happens. <sighs> Thank you. Serval's description. That must be Lynx. Let's hide here and observe for now. Lynxie, I'm here! Let's go! to get from the administrative district to the snow plains. So much snow. Even in the northern mountains, it wasn't like this. Well, the snow is supposed to get heavier later in the day. We need to find a good place to set up camp first. Right. The guide says we should find a flat, dry, sheltered location facing the sun at high elevation. Oh. You remembered all that? 
I expected no less from you. But it's gonna be hard finding a place that fits those criteria. Well, we'll just keep moving and see. The place has to be convenient enough for us to observe the Aurora, too. <laughs> Thanks, Linksy. I'll leave it to you, then. I'm gonna follow right behind you. Flat, dry, sheltered, facing the sun, high elevation... And we need to be able to observe the Aurora. And this is going to be difficult. The slope has a good view. It'll be easy to watch the Aurora. Mm. Nope. Oh, the wind blows strongly through here. And there are signs of direwolf activity. It'd be too dangerous to make camp. I see. Then let's keep moving. is sheltered and facing the sun, plus it's flat ground, but... Mm, there are cliffs all around. Oh, we'll be in trouble if there's a landslide or a rockfall. Also, there isn't much of a view. Oh, I remember a good place that's not too far from here. Follow me! Huh? Okay. on both sides, but I cleared all the monsters here a while ago, so it should be safe and sound. Also, the mountain wind during this season usually comes from the north, which is another reason why we couldn't camp on that previous slope. <sighs> These two hills can block the snow plains gales for us. <sighs> I never even noticed! Huh. Camping is a complicated science. Oh, not really. But the environment outside of Bellabog is very tough. If the weather here was as good as inside the city, well, then we could have camped anywhere. That's true. I hope that becomes a reality one day. Hmm. Only problem is, the view here isn't great. Are you sure we'll be able to watch the Aurora? <laughs> Don't worry about that for now. Let's get the tent ready, then go find our dinner. Sure, I can help out with the tent. I memorized that section in the camping guide. Okay, then I'll go set up the stove. Oh, if you have any questions, just ask me. Uh -huh. mm. oh. oh, why isn't the heater working? Ugh, darn. Doesn't seem like an easy fix. Pela. Weird. That's what the guide says. Hey, Linksy. Come and have a look at this. I did everything according to the guide, but the tent's still wobbly. Mm. Uh, let me have a check. Main poles, check. Rope poles, check. Ropes, check. Ah, it's the pegs! The pegs! I forgot to mention, thick snow needs leaded iron pegs. Got it. It's definitely sturdier now. Nice job, Linksy. <laughs> it's your kind. But my oversight. Ah... Uh... I've got a question, too. Can you take a look at this stove? I think it's broken. Huh? Sure. Let me take a look. Hmm. 
The geomeral fuel activation component probably stopped working. Do you have a spare one? <sighs> no. Uh, Serval told me this was a brand new stove. Hmm. Did I bring the wrong stove? Does this mean we have to make a fire with geomeral? I specifically got this stove from Serval. That's okay. These components are really common. Maybe we can find a spare one in the ruins around here. You take it easy. I'll see if I can find one. Oh, and I'll keep an eye out for food, too. Uh, I'll come with you. Finding food is easy, but finding that component is gonna be hard. We'll do our best. If we can't find one, we'll just do what your guide says and chop wood to make a fire. Oh, actually, I have some spare chunks of Geo Marrow. There might be spare stove parts in the ruin. Let me see. Oh, don't tell me you want to crawl in there. Of course I do. It's not like the stuff we need is going to come crawling out. Uh, in that case... Be careful. <sighs> any components, but I got this. I don't know if we can still eat it. Hmm? Hmm. It hasn't decayed. <laughs> it's edible. Really? It's all thanks to the Eternal Freeze. We can eat raw fish from 700 years ago. 700? trunk you found something there's food in here really <laughs> I'm gonna pry it open <laughs> there uh, what exactly are oh, these are mimic snow slugs they can change their appearance to match the external environment <laughs> they're really cute yeah, but we should put them back. No, no. These slugs taste really good once they've been roasted. They kind of taste like, um, snow mice? That sounds even less appetizing. Hibernating snow radish rabbit. Huh? This is a rabbit? Yep. They look really similar to snow radishes. Their ears look like the leaves and their body looks like the radish bit. When they hibernate, they cover themselves with dirt just like real radishes. I see. In that case, please tell me we can put it back. Yeah. It's better for the Snow Plains ecosystem.
This crate looks promising. Maybe there are spare stove components inside. Well, let's open it up then. Uh, no, no, I, I, don't worry about it, Linksy. I'll manage. Oh. Uh, are these sausages? Sure looks like it. And they were probably placed here not long ago. Could it be Bellabog Caveman's food? B Bellabog Caveman? Oh, it's a legendary creature. It looks like something between a man and a monkey. Well, roughly the same size as a man with dark blue hair. Its activities are very mysterious, and no one in Bellabog can find concrete evidence of its existence. Well, I've only chanced upon it a few times myself. Whenever I try to take a photo of it, but it had already run away. Oh, I feel like these sausages might constitute a great Bellabogian scientific discovery. Let's bring them back with us. Uh, uh, hold on. There are some letters here. Sam something... Post something... Uh, I can't read the rest, but it seems like a name. I guess it can't be the Bellabog Caveman, then. Do cavemen even know how to write? Ah. D don't worry, Linksy. I'm sure you'll get concrete proof one day. Let's leave the sausages here. I think someone might be missing them if we take them. Well, I think we've searched through everything here. Let's head back, Pela. <sighs> okay. I feel bad that we didn't find a spare component. Oh, it's fine. We'll just light a fire with Geomero. Let's go back and have some food. Pela? What's up? We don't really need that stove to cook. I know, but since we're looking for food, I figured we might as well try to fix the stove. I think there's something in the camp. Be careful. Is it some kind of animal? See, wait! That thing in the camp is a dangerous fragmentum creature. Uh, I see it too, but it doesn't seem aggressive. And it's all chubby and cute. Don't be fooled by its appearance. About 20% of our silver main guard fragmentum losses are a result of chasing this creature. We haven't figured out everything about it yet, but there's one thing we're sure of. They have the power to control people. We need to be careful. What? But this little buddy gave me something good last time. And it didn't hurt me. That must be the first step in their mind control process. You were lucky. We should defeat it just to be safe. Fragmentum creatures are Bellabog's enemies. They shouldn't be trusted. Oh, what? Hmm? I didn't even get to take a photo of it last time. Now's a good chance. Can I at least take a picture, Pela? That's also my job as a researcher. I understand, but the sound of the shutter and the camera bolt might set it into a frenzy. Uh, it noticed us? It might be looking for an opportunity to attack. Be careful. picture <laughs> it disappeared did it run away yeah that's the nature of these little things they disappear in a flash when they get scared well that's my conclusion from my long-term observations as for those lost guards maybe they were chasing these little creatures and couldn't find their way back uh... 
Maybe I was overreacting. Oh, don't be sorry. It pays to be careful. <sighs> anyway, crisis resolved. We can now make some food. What? Uh, our little buddy seems to have dropped something. component. I never thought we'd find one here. What about you, Linksy? Did you find anything good? Uh, uh, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Just some old stuff. It's, it's great we finally found the component. Let's go fix the stove. Huh? Linksy, is something the matter? Nope. Nope. Uh, that's all your imagination. Oh, uh... Why don't you take a break? I'll have a look at this stove. Two I learned from Serba. My sister. Yep, that's her. Uh, what's the matter? Ah, uh, uh, nothing. Just you know, sometimes I'm a bit jealous of Serba. You know, she knows everything. <laughs> Same as you then. What? <laughs> I'm serious. Outdoor explorer, mechanic. They're both experts in their field, right? I think you two are awesome. Anyway, it wouldn't be hard for you to get her to teach you something. You're her sister. She'd be happy to teach you. <sighs> well, you say that. But, uh... You know, never mind. It's getting late. Let's cook something. Yay! That's my favorite part! Wait, no. My favorite part is watching the Aurora. Well, anyways, let's take a look at what ingredients we have. Every ingredient has its own effect, and combining them will create unexpected results. Ooh, what kind of effects are they gonna make? Hmm. Let's just give it a try. from 700 years ago and some cute mimic snow slug. I don't think... either is edible. Oh, don't worry. We'll make them into a hot pot. Just add cream, biscuit crumbs, and the canned sardines I brought. You're putting canned sardines into a hot pot? Please don't say that. Oh, well then, this will be the main course for tonight. I'll show you what I can do as a chef. Um, why don't I cook tonight? You can take a break. Oh, come on, it's fine. Just leave it to me. Ta-da! The super delicious Snow Plains Combo Stew is ready. <sighs> it smells so good. I'm gonna dig in. So full. <sighs> Guess now we just wait for the light show. The Aurora should start soon. Before that, let's just chat. Pela, why did you suddenly want to come camping? Huh? Well, 
Aren't you always saying how you just want to lie in bed when you get off work? Ah, uh, sorry. I hope this trip didn't surprise you. No, no. I mean, sure, I'm not the most sociable of people, but I love camping with a good friend. I had a great time. It's been a lot of fun. Hmm. Oh, you're always like this. Even on this camping trip, you keep trying to do things. You really don't need to. Just leave it to me. Camping is about relaxing. No need to be so tense. I know. It's just, I was really getting into the camping. I felt like I finally got around to doing the things I always wanted to. <laughs> So all those comics you drew for the Tales series didn't count? Uh... I have to hide those from other people. I get a little embarrassed. Oh, you care about other people's opinions too much. I suppose... I wish I could be more like you. Oh, I... I'm not as cool as you think. <laughs> I don't know how to handle my brother and sister. They keep treating me as a kid. Like, they're both really capable and awesome people. Which is why I feel really pressured when I'm with them. <sighs> I'm already a grown-up. I have the capacity to do what I want to do. Why can't they just stop worrying and let me do what I want? That's... How families are. Ah, uh, sorry, I shouldn't talk about this. I was getting carried away. It's okay. It's not like I even know what she looked like. So, when's the Aurora do? <sighs> Careful, Lynx! There are monsters coming! by the stove. The Stellaron crisis is over. Why are there still so many monsters? Ah, uh, I see. Wait, where did 
did you come from all of a sudden? Pela, who is this? Um, this is the Trailblazer, the savior of Bellabog. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, thanks for saving us. Uh, not to mention Bellabog. Well, so, what's a big hero like you doing out here? like this. It's impossible to get some private time as their younger sister. Then why did you still come here? Uh, all right, all right. It's all because Serval and Japard are worry wards. Besides, you did save us. Well, since you followed us all the way here, you probably know why we're out camping today. Well, stay and watch the Aurora with us. It's about time for it to appear. Hey, Linksy! Look! <sighs> Come this way. Wow! <sighs> this is the largest Aurora since the Stellaron Crisis passed. We're really lucky to see it. Yeah. Really lucky. to taste Linksy's cooking and see the Aurora, this Snow Plains adventure was the best! You look really happy. Huh? Uh, me? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not that happy. I, uh, what I mean is... Uh... Yeah, go for it, Pela. I... <sighs> it was a great experience. Thanks to you, Linksy. Not to mention you. Anyway, what now? Back home? Wanna go out for a midnight snack later? We can. I heard a pretty good steak place opened up in the south of the administrative district. We can go try it out together. <laughs> Sounds good. That's settled then. Let's part ways for now and rendezvous later tonight. Uh, Pela, hold on. What's up? This is for you. What is this? I found this on the ground before I fixed the stove. I guess that fragmentum creature dropped it. I think it might be best if you check it out yourself. Penya Sergeyevna. I see. Thank you, Linksy. Let's meet up here later tonight. I better get going. Hmm. just talking about you. How was it? With Lynx? <sighs> so, that stranger was Pela. What can I say? Sounds like a Lynxy expedition, all right. No way! As long as Lynxie can protect herself, I'll be supportive in all her ventures. Serval is right. This time, this was Lynx's own choice. We won't be upset with her. But 
Exploring the snow plains is still quite dangerous. All right, all right, calm down. She'll be able to look after herself. Thank you for being around for this. Japard was too anxious to sleep. I... Sis, you're exaggerating. As for how we'll communicate with Linksy in the future, we'll have to have a good think about it. You really helped us a lot this time. Thank you so much. Let's wait for Pala together. She's in the storage room. I think she's looking over the contents of that flash drive. Let's give her some time. Mm, I don't know the exact details, but... <sighs> I'm guessing you don't know about Pala's mother, right? Peña Sergeyevna was Bellabog's greatest outdoor explorer. Passed away 16 years ago. She's famous in Bellabog. You might have heard other people mention her in passing. Anyway, well, something else happened 16 years ago. Pela was born. Yes. They say that despite her pregnancy, Madame Peña insisted on staying at the Snow Plains camp. She couldn't go to the front lines, but she was able to handle administrative duties. Then, finally, the day of Pela's birth arrived. Tragically, there were complications. Other serious incidents occurred that day. The exploration team ran into a blizzard and the camp lost contact with the outside world. No one knew what to do. The only good thing was that Pela was born healthy. The flash drive... If the old research team members were telling the truth, it was something Madame Pena left behind. Madame Pena asked a colleague to take her terminal and flash drive back to Bellabog. She said they contained a treasure for Pela. She said that once Pela was older, she'd be able to understand the contents. But that colleague was attacked fragmentum creatures on his way back to the city. During the attack, he dropped the flash drive in confusion, only managing to bring back the terminal. Apart from Madame Pena, nobody knew what the flash drive contained. But they say she left Pela many letters. From the moment she knew she was pregnant, to the day of Pela's birth. <laughs> Never missing a day. There's somewhere I want to go. 
Will you come too? The workshop. I'll wait for you there. Jepard. <clears throat> I'm back. Lynx! You're finally back. Uh, what's with the red eyes? Did something happen? Jepard? Make it obvious. Welcome home, Lynxie. <clears throat> oh, it's okay. It's okay. Seems like a lot went down in the snow plains. Thanks again for your help. I think we need a little private time. See you soon. I should give them some time together.
Have you also come to explore the snow plains? <laughs> <laughs>